Today I'm going to show you a little bit about looking at your portfolio and how to view your rankings. Here we can see the My Portfolio since I've logged in. I've made a few trades so we can see some stocks in my portfolio. You can also get a view of everything you have where it'll show you your stocks on the top and the mutual funds on the bottom, or you can just look at your mutual funds. Since I don't currently own any mutual funds, it's giving me a list to choose from. If I look over on the right hand panel here, I can see a current pie chart showing the different symbols of what I own and how much of my portfolio it's taking up. I can also get a breakdown of by industry of what I own or by market capacity. The word of the day always cycles every day and every time you change the page. It gives a different glossary term of something that we think that you might want to know. You can cycle through different ones by clicking the next button. And the market summary will tell you a little bit about what's going on in the markets today. The S&P 500, for example, has gone down by about a percentage point. For each stock that I own, I have a lot of information available to me. This is the company name. This is a chart, and I can cycle, of course, through a 30-day chart, a one-year chart, or just the standard view, which is just a listing. Or I can see the price I've paid. Since I bought this less than 15 minutes ago, it can't tell me the price yet. We are able to fill at real-time prices, but we can't actually show you what price you filled at until 15 minutes after the order executes. It also gives the quantity of how many I own and my percentage of return on the, I've had on this position. This chart here will change color depending on if I've made money or lost money. So here I can say I, I've made 0.17%, so I have a green chart. Here I've lost 0.1%, and so I have a red chart. Here I can click this button here to get news, or I can click this button here to get a current chart of that stock. So for example, this is the news page for the Coca-Cola. I can see that they've appeared in a article from Seeking Alpha talking about dividends a couple times recently. And then I have one specifically about Coca-Cola this summer from Business Wire. If I want to look at the charts, I can look here and I can get a different kinds of charts, candlesticks, lines, all kinds of different things. And I can even set what kind of date range I want to see between what's happened today, the last five days, two weeks, etc. Back on the My Portfolio page, we can also click these buttons here to trade this stock. By default, it'll populate the opposite action that we have. So if we bought the stock, it'll populate sell. If we've shorted the stock, we can cover it. And it'll automatically give the entire quantity that I have. Up here, you can switch between which contest you're actually looking at at the time. So for this private contest, it's just me in the contest. If I want to look at this 10K practice portfolio, I only own Sprint in this portfolio right now, so that's all I see in my portfolio. I can also look at the official May challenge, which I've joined, but trading hasn't started yet, so no one owns anything. At the top of the page here, we can look at my rankings under the my portfolio section as well. Here it will show you the rankings of everyone who's made a trade in a contest. As I said, this challenge hasn't started yet, so no one's made a trade and no one can appear in the rankings. In my private contest, I have traded, so I will appear in the rankings. If there's many, many people in the contest, which there is in some of our official contests, there might be hundreds and hundreds of people on different pages. By clicking show my rank, it'll automatically take you to where you are in the list. And you can see exactly how much better you need to do to pass the person who's sitting right above you.